So for altitude or height or elevation uh, effects, you can use the location mask. You have a light on the, on the full one. Um, so they look like this. You can also access them via the all node, uh, node group that you can put in your world, for example, uh, where you have all the nodes laid. Uh, you can find them here in the light, uh, Spotify light, and there is the, the location here, the light location, and the, the full one here. So if you control shift on, on any, uh, you will see basically the, the effect of the mask directly. So if you move the on and the off uh, altitude, you can basically see directly the effect. So on means uh, white, basically full, uh, full effect, or when you plug this into anything, it will uh, yeah, trigger it. And then off is the, the black, uh, the black altitude. So if you want to just slide this uh, like this, you can invert um, also the effect. If, uh, if you if you have the off above the the on obviously it inverses the effect then you have a, a noise that you can yeah tweak in terms of uh, intensity and scale and, and roughness so on the the full one you have a, a bit more control over the space of the the location mask it can be in wall space, meaning 100 meters in, is 100 meters. And in object space, it means uh, it will start from the origin of the object. So if you have a lot of rocks, for example, uh, it will mean uh, in object space that the, the altitude is um, starts on each object. Uh, each of them can yeah, have a, uh, the effect uh, starting from where, where this object is. So if I move this object, for example, uh, as it, uh, as it's in uh, object space, the altitude mask stays uh, centered on the, on the object, starting from the, the pivot point. Uh, altitude of zero means centered on the, the center of the object itself. And by click and dragging uh, on both sliders, you can basically control both at the same time. So that's practical once you uh, define the basically a contrast, the distance between the, the on and the off, you can also move them uh, at the same time. And if you want to find an exact uh, altitude, you can shift right click to place the 3D cursor. And in the view and panel, you have the coordinates of the 3D cursor. So I know that this point in, sp in space is at uh, one, uh, one meter and a half. Uh, well, that point is at three meter. So if I want the altitude to fade until three meter, I can put it in wall space. And then in wall space, the effect once it reaches three meters, exactly hitting the, the 3D cursor here. So on some smart effects, you have the this altitude mask that's uh, that's used. For example, in the the swampy effect, it works. For example, to add this uh, this muddy effect around a, a body of water. So that's where the altitude is very handy because you can just uh, tweak how how wide the effect is spreading um, around this uh, this altitude that's the, the the water at. So if you push the off, it will fade until a higher altitude. So until one meter, for example, so it will be much less contrasted. And if I get them closer again, so nearly at one, both of them, it's contrasted again that it ends at exactly one meter in, uh, in wall space. Yep, that's it for the location mask.